another hamster food review this is the bunny nature uh, expert and it's the dwarf version hamster dream but it's the vegetable version it's got vegetables in so it's a new version you can still get the old version but i think they've just done another mix as well so we'll get cracking with this and we'll see what it's all about so we'll get the bad boy opened and we'll see what it's about right guys mm. <sighs> right i can't see any vegetables in it but here we go we will start now composition just have another nosey why are you waiting for that protein 15 for uh, start again put my teeth in protein 15.5 percent fat 6.5 percent fiber 7 percent so pretty good as usual which is what you expect now let's have a whiff yes smells lovely which you'd expect um i'll just get a spoon right let's see uh yeah the smells really nice so we'll do the presentation first shall we guys smell nine out of ten presentation the look nine out of ten variety 10 out of 10. Now, let's get a look at this bad boy, shall we? And see what it's all about. Now, like I said, I can't see many vegetables. It doesn't look different, too much different to the the normal dwarf expert. Oh, now you can see I'm popping up. There we go. Yeah, so here we go, guys. As you can see, what you'd expect from Bunny Dream. Um... Yeah, what can I say? It's Bunny Dream. It's what I expected. A good, balanced seeds, vegetables. Um, yeah. So, you can't expect anything more. I'll just go get my tripod. Hold on. Yeah, guys. So, it's what you'd expect. Um, you can see the proper quality seeds. Proper quality it's what a, a dwarf hamster would love to get them the uh, the teeth dug into. I think that might be a little parsnip. The smell is really nice. It's really fresh, really nice. And um, yeah, what more can I say? Now, I'll get you another one in a minute. So we'll just have a look at the bag, shall we? Presentation. 10 out of 10, got a lovely cute dwarf hamster, got an, accu an actual accurate picture of the mix, tiny seeds. And sat that there's not as many vegetables unless, they're under, unless they've um, settled underneath the tub. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, what can get, what can, uh, more can we say? So we'll have a look at that. Right, now we'll get another mix. Let's have a see. Have a good dig round. There we go, guys. Some more. Now that's not dust, by the way. That's just the uh, some of the soft seeds and herbs and everything. Yeah, it's got herbs in it. So you can see a few more seeds in there. There you go. Carrots, peas seeds uh yeah so would i recommend this oh yes definitely the downside of it though which is nothing to do with the food it's the actual availability now and the price now obviously those bags, these bags of Bunny Dream can range anything from seven to nine pounds just for one bag. If you've only got one dwarf, then it can last a dwarf quite a while, especially if you mix it with something else. So it might not be too much um, of a problem for you. But if you're um, on a budget, and then you've got to be aware that it's, it's going to cost you uh, to get it shipped to... Uh, 
especially if you're ordering it from from abroad. But if you're getting it on eBay, which this one is on, if it was off eBay, then obviously it'd be easier for tra uh, for for shipping for you. But it's still quite expensive. That's the only problem. But you get what you pay for. You know, it's top quality food. So. Um, it's what you can afford, what you think of the food, what you think your Amis will like, if you want to try it and see what your Ami likes and then uh then by all means go ahead and try a bag. And um I will be getting the flour mix next and um in the not in the near future in the I'll say again, in the near future and I'll do the flour mix as well, the Bunny Dream flour mix. So um, this uh, looks a bit different to the actual actual. Now we configure it to the normal dwarf expert because uh, you can see those herbs sticking to the side of the dish. So it's got nice little tiny herbs in. That's what I could smell before. It's they smelled nice and herby, <laughs> and um, yeah, that's a good good name for an hamster, herby. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, yeah, there's nothing more I can say about it, and uh, I'd recommend it. And um, give another look here. Let's see what you think. Do me new usual what I usually do. And I've not got my teeth in proper today. I'm all over the place. So there you go, guys. Nice, tiny, tiny, tiny seeds. And then the spoon is covered in, is covered in herbs. <laughs> uh, but it's not. At least it's nothing like the one I did last week. That. Kiki Max. Oh God. Oh, that was a nightmare. But this one, as you can see, you just can't be Bunny Dream. Top quality. There you go. You can see all the nice herbs. And um, I'll just have a smell. See what sort of herbs. Oh, I know that smell. Oh, um, smells like basil. Looks like basil as well. Look at that, a nice lot of herbs. Yeah, guys, this is really, really, really cute. There you go. There you go. Go. There we go. So guys, it's a, it's, it's um, another raving review from Bunny Dream. Nice work, Bunny Dream, Bunny Nature, <laughs> as usual. No, I'll just have a move my scissors out of the way. <laughs> Good God, Michelle. Right, there we go. So we'll have one more look at this bag. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Ah, yeah, so there's the old packet and there's an, a new version. That's your normal um, Dream Expert, the dwarf one. And that's your, this one here. And, um, yeah, it's pretty spot on, really. It's not got the big bits of carrots, but everything else is spot on. So I think... I'll give a good scoring system for this one. And a cute little dwarf. There you go guys, if you can see that. Well, I don't think you'll see that because all the writing's fading off. Took me a while to write down the composition. Germany, that's it. Why do Germans always do lovely, lovely hamster food? They always do uh, good quality food for hamsters. They're well ahead of uh, everyone else. They really are. Well ahead. Yeah. I don't know what more to say. It's just great. It just looks really, really lovely. And, um... Yeah, it's just absolutely a knockout. that I think most of the carrots are stuck at the bottom oh there yeah there's some 
Yes, it's what you expect from uh, Bunny Dream, Bunny Nature. So, if you want to try it, you can get it on eBay, which will probably be a quicker route. Um, you can get it off my Sculter as well. You can get it on my Sculter, but you'll be probably waiting weeks. Now, they're, they're the only two places I've seen it at the moment. Uh, Pe uh, Pet Planet don't do Bunny Nature, and uh, neither do Viavet. No surprise, there we buy of it. And Suplos, well, last time I, I, I emailed Suplos, they said they're not doing any hamster food anymore. So I've not bought anything off Suplos in a long, long while. A long while. Which is a shame, because I used to get quite a, do quite a cute little haul, pet haul from Suplos, uh, Zoo if you remember. So yeah guys, so that's it, and, I, and as I can see the seeds all over the place, but nevertheless. So guys, we'll do a thumbnail. Thumbnail. There we go. And um, you know the digs, any questions, let me know. And um, I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, if I missed anything out, just let me know. But I'll give you everything then. And the composition will be in the com um, the description as usual. You know the dig. And um, yeah, is there any other food you see you've seen that I've not spotted yet, and you want me to review again? You know the dig. So um, yeah, so that's it, guys. And um, I'll try Oakley and uh, Bailey with it when they wake up later. I'll just give them a little. Uh, half a teaspoon or a teaspoonful just to see what they like with it and uh, yeah and uh, catch you later bye